the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so for us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your Church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear and crystal. It had a massive high wall with 12 gates where 12 angels were stationed and on which name were inscribed the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stone as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known the glory of glorious let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak to your might. Making known to men your might, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Hallelujah! 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 Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Rabbi, 
you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to the Lord. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael, Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Here is the true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael asked him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe, because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This morning as we honor St. Bartholomew, we honor one of the disciples in which truly followed the Lord in everything that he was doing, his faithfulness even to the point of his own martyrdom, his own death, knowing that it was the most important thing to do was to bring about the gospel message to others, to bring joy and hope the presence of Christ in our world. And Bartholomew and all the disciples went forward proclaiming and living the gospel. But we see also in the gospel today of St. John, Jesus reminds, reminds us that greater things will take place. Great things have taken place over these many years, the centuries, of allowing Christ to become part of our daily life. Many new miracles, many new signs, of the presence of God's love and his mercy are always there each day. May we pray through the intercession of St. Bartholomew today, a faithful servant, one who lived and proclaimed the gospel to others. We too may live the gospel, proclaim the word of God to one another. God bless you. Let us place our prayers and petitions before God, our Heavenly Father, that the Holy Spirit may nurture in our, in our bishops the missionary seal of Bartholomew, and the other apostles in whose succession they serve, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That the peace of Christ may touch all nations and lead them to tolerance, understanding, and harmony, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That those experience grief or emotional anguish may be freed by the Holy Spirit from all their distress, we pray to the Lord. That the members of this faith community, in times of doubt and fear, may experience the strong and comforting hand of God, we pray to the Lord. That those who have died may be called by Christ into the splendor of the heavenly Jerusalem, we pray to the Lord. We place those petitions which in the silence of our hearts before God. We pray to the Lord. We especially remember Margaret Rose Adobe, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God of glory, we praise you with the angels and saints, and thank you for hearing our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and life, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, and to share in our community. Blessed you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by your Lord and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all of his holy church. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light 
of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace is a grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the God of the Lord to us and receive it. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Body priest. The 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 body priest. 
the body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be our help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits, who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a nice day, everyone.